Hey guys, this is Pokemon Storm Silver, video number 87. Second to last video, guys. Um, in the last video, we went through the Ice Path, Dark Cave, and Mount Mortar, and caught the Regis. Um, Reg Ice, Regi Steel, and Regi Rock. In this one, we're going to go back to Mount Silver and see about catching Regi Gigas. You guys might remember when we came to Mount Silver before, we, you know how you go to Mount Silver, you can either like surf to the left or you can rock climb up to the right. Well, we surfed to the left and got to that little cave back there, but we couldn't get in. That was because we didn't have the other Reggies with us. So, what I'm going to do is come here to the, um, the PC and deposit some of my Pokemon, deposit three of my Pokemon and get out Regirock, Regice, and Registeel because you gotta have those three with you when you go to catch Regigigas, which is what I'm gonna do now. Um, I'm also taking the um, the uh, the ball capsules off of the Pokeballs of some of my Pokemon just so I can like, you know, deposit them. That's dumb that you can't like deposit Pokemon who have ball capsules on their Pokeballs. But, uh, that's just the rule. Anyway, uh, you probably see this is a very long video, um, almost 29 minutes, I'm sorry about that. I I probably should have split this up into two videos, but um, I was kind of caught off guard at the end of this video, and I will show you, you guys will see why when we get there, but for the time being, not yeah, I know some of y'all are going to like, oh, I want to fast forward and see why he was caught off guard. Uh, I don't know, don't do that, don't do that. Just don't do that. Seriously, don't do that. Because then you're going to miss out on all the awesome stuff that happens before that. But anyway, uh, I've got the three Reggies in my party now. I, I kept uh, Jolteon. Who did I keep? I kept Jolteon, Vesuvius, and... Was it Jericho? Oh, there you go. Mick. Jolteon, Vesuvius, and Mick. Because Jolteon is my, you know, ooh, Paralyzer, and, you know, Vesuvius is my, um, oh, well, oh, okay, well, I guess I didn't keep Vesuvius. <laughs> I kept Jericho. Jolteon, Mick, and Jericho. Why didn't I keep Vesuvius? I would have thought I kept Vesuvius, because he's like my cutter. You know, he uses cut, which, like, doesn't do very much. But I guess, and I can just have Jericho use Rock Climb. Anyway. Here is that little doodad again. Save the game. It's a tablet about a Pokemon Matt read the engraved. A body of rock, a body of ice, a body of steel. When gathers the three, the thing opens. Oh my god, guys. The tablet shattered. Mount Silver Cave. There's Regigigas down there. Alright, just checking to make sure I had plenty of dust balls. Roar, he says. Alright, Reggie Gigas, level 75. Spike, let's go for it. Thunder Wave! Wah! As you can see, I have sped up this battle. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt and lightning. Very, very frightening me. I probably should have had to use thunder there. That probably would have gotten him down in the red. But Spike's dead. Okay. Down in the red, but Spike's dead. Just a little more Reggie Rock. Now I'm sitting in Reggie Rock to attack this thing, kind of get it a little bit further down into the red. Um, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Good job, Reggie Rock. You did well. Alright, so, got it paralyzed, got it way down in the red. Dust Ball didn't do very well. Okay, use next Pokemon. Mm-hmm. Reggie Steel now. Dust Ball. You know, might as well use these Pokemon. I've got them in my team. In my party. They're not on my team. They're just in my party. Okay, guys, calm down. It's like, oh my god, he replaced Charizard and, and Andromeda and, and Robotnik. No, I didn't, okay? Just, just chill out. Okay, I only brought these guys because I had to have them in order to get to Regigigas. And Crush Grip sucks. Alright, Mick. 
No, not quite. Arg, almost had it. Again, with the wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, no. Oh no, the Pokemon broke free. Ooh, he can't move. Here's my time. Alright, wiggle, 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 wiggle. No, Arg, almost had it. That's not even a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. That's just a wiggle, wiggle. One dust ball. No wiggle. Uh oh. He identified Mick. Watch, watch, it, watch out. Broke free. Can't move. Dust ball. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. No. That was just a one wiggle. Oh, it appeared to be caught. Come on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ah. That was a wiggle, wiggle. No! Mick! Is Jericho the only Pokemon I have left? I think it is. Yeah! Jericho's the only one I have left! Oh, come on! No! Okay, that didn't do very much. That's good. Crush Grip. No! No! Oh, no. Alright, I need to heal Jericho. Because if Jericho faints, then I'm done. He's gonna see, like, Matt, scary to the Pokemon Center, protecting the faint and exhausted Pokemon from further harm. That's what it's gonna say if Jericho faints. You know it. You know that's true. That's what it always says whenever, you know, someone loses. Not that I would know, because I never lose. And those of you who think you saw my Tepig lose to an Oshawott, Okay, and video number two of my Volt White 2 LP are mistaken. Anyway. Who did I lose to in this game? I always lose to someone. Um. I know in Spirit Gold I lost to you, Scene. And then I lost to that guy on Route 25. You know how you have like the six pack trainers, like, oh, we're the six pack trainers. And then like there's the guy at the end, he's like, oh, here's your prize for beating the six pack trainers, but I want to see how tough you are too. I lost to that guy in Spirit Gold. I lost to that guy and I lost to UC in Spirit Gold. At, uh, I can't remember who I lost to in this, in this game. I'm pretty sure I lost to someone. I always, like I said, I always lose to someone. I can't remember who it was. I lost to Sharon in Blaze Black. Like, I lost to him, like, you know, r like right before you get to Victory Road. They're on, what is it, Route 10? I lost to Sharon there. Then I don't think I've lost to anyone in Volt White 2 yet. And amazingly, oh, there it is, Reggie Gigas. Caught him. Normal. Okay, so, do I have an escape rope? Bless you. My cat just sneezed. There it is, a long, durable rope. I can use that to escape instantly from a cave. Alright guys, so he caught Reggie Gigas. How about that? How about that? Would you just look at it? Would you, would you look at it? Would you just look at it? Alright. So, now, we still have more to do in this video, obviously, okay? Because we're only like 20 minutes, or we still have like 20 minutes left. But first thing is first, I want to get my Pokemon back. My real Pokemon, not these freaking Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, Reggie Rock crap. I want to get Metagross. I want to get Charizard. I want to get Spiritomb. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, 
Vesuvius, we are going to fly to the Indigo Plateau first because we gotta go to Kanto, but before we can go to Kanto, we gotta fly to Indigo Plateau because that's like the know-all place. And now we're gonna fly to Cerulean City. Or Vermilion City. Wh whichever. Oh yeah, I'm flying to Vermilion City to see if I can get Steven to talk to me, since I'm playing the version 1.05 now. Yo, Steven! Okay, so let's go in here and then out. Ooh, exclamation point! No, okay, that's not happening. He's still not talking to me, even though I've upgraded versions. Okay, it's just not gonna happen, I guess. All right then. No, nope, doesn't matter which angle I talk to him from, he still won't talk to me. He just stands there and ignores me. What is this thing? Oh, goo go go ha. Bring the spirit w with yo shall me. That's interesting. That is quite interesting indeed. Alright, so from Vermilion City, now we'll fly to Cerulean City. Okay, guys. The legendary of all legendaries after we go in here and buy some dust balls. I want to make sure I have enough for this guy. You guys know who I'm after. Because it's in the title of the video. You guys know who I'm after. Don't you? Yeah, you do. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get up a repel. Okay, the water is deep blue. Would you like to surf on it? Uh, yeah. Make you surf. Cerulean city, city. Okay, we're in Cerulean Cave now. Uh, we'll have Spike use Flash so we can see where we're going. Going, 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 going. Can't go that way. Gotta go this way. Surf. The water's deep blue. Would you like to surf on it? Yes, I would love to surf on the deep blue water. We are surfing. Surfing USA and all that. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's learning how. Come on a safari with me. And I don't have a Rock Smash Pokemon with me, so I'm not going to be able to get there. I'm not going to teach any of my Pokemon Rock Smash at this point in the game either. I mean, I only have one more video left in this LP, I think. And, um... <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be Rock Smashing anytime soon. And I do not know what that item is either. So if you guys know, you are more than welcome to put it in the comments. That way, other people who are watching this video can can learn what it is. If they don't know either. And they want to know if that item is worth teaching their Pokemon Rock Smash to get. But if you're if you're playing this game like I am, you're probably exploring this cave like toward the end of your like like you know, gameplay. So at this point your Pokemon should basically have their move sets, like, you know, set. And, uh, yeah. Unless that's just, like, a neat item, like a, like a, I don't know. Well, it looks like I decided to see what this item is. <laughs> After I just went through that whole spiel about, I don't care. Oh, it's TM24 Thunderbolt. Okay. 
Yeah, you should have already found Thunderbolt. I know this is not the first place you can find it. I know you're already, you've already been able to find Thunderbolt because I found it and I used it on Spike. Aren't you guys grateful that I, like, taught Jericho Rock Smash? I think I taught Jericho. I thought... I th I think I thought it to Jericho. I'm pretty sure that was Jericho who used it. I think I talked it. No. Yeah. Why not? I mean, now that Jericho's got Rock Smash, woo! And okay, nothing up that way. Okay, that was a complete waste of time. Ooh, let's see what this little item is. Ooh, a nugget. I can sell that for money. But at this point, I'm not buying much more of anything, and whatever I do want to buy, I can already afford. Because I'm rich. Because I'm the champ. And I'm rich. A PP up. See, these might be like, well, I don't know why they would be like useful items at this point. Well, I guess they'd be useful items if you haven't like like re rematched the Elite Four yet, like you know the PP up and stuff like that. Thunderbolt. Let's see what this is. This is a full restore. It's like to restore to the fullest extent of restorement. Uh, we'll go up first and then we'll go left first. So we went up and left. Nothing. Okay. Now we'll go right. This is a weird cave. Oh, you know what? I bet I think this is how you like get to where we need to get to. Yep, it sure is. In case like I hope you guys are alright, but I'm not gonna actually fully explore this cave. I'm just gonna get to where I need to get to because I'm kinda just trying to wrap this up. And I know I just went the wrong way. But that's okay, guys. Okay? That's alright. I mean, we're already like 18 minutes into this video. And there's a lot that happens in the last 10 minutes of this video. So, just stick around. I know you guys are like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm watching this video. It's so long. It's okay. Alright? It's okay, guys. I guess, you know, the reason I like making long videos is because, like, I like to, like, the songs I listen to. And, that like, all my friends give me a hard time about it. Like, like, oh, how long is this song you're listening to? I'm like, oh, about eight minutes. What? That's short for you. Because I love long songs. I'm a sucker for long songs. Like, the longer the song, the better. Like, shoot, I'll, I'll be listening to a song. Like, hey, how long is this song? Oh, about 40 minutes. What? Yeah. Yeah. So, I guess, you know, I make these long-ish videos. I thought about trying to cut my videos down to like 13 or 14 minutes, but then I was like, nah, <laughs> I'm not going to do that because that just wouldn't be me, you know, I like having these, you know, I, I usually try and keep them, like I said, about 20 minutes, but you know, sometimes that's a little bit more difficult to do, especially when, uh, You've got, like, all of this to cover. Ooh, and there's the Electrizer. Electorizer. If you haven't already evolved your Electabuzz into Electivire. Oh, it's Joey. Oh, it's in the top percent. Oh! So his Rattata is, like, in the top percent of all Rattata, which is, like, which is amazing. Because, I mean, how lucky is he to find one of those Rattata that's in the top percent of all the other ones of his species? 
There's the black sludge. I think you give that to like Muck or Grimer and it restores HP or something. I don't know. Okay. Here's the big enchilada. The big, the big taco, the big, the big um, chalupa, the big fajita, the big flauta, the big, um, the big, um, the big tamale, the big, uh, I don't know. Here's Mewtwo. And, um, I use Thunder Wave, use a Psychic, I use Thunderbolt, okay. Amnesia, I use Thunderbolt again. Okay, Amnesia, I use Thunderbolt again. I wonder if I can use Thunderbolt again. Oh, but he just did that power swap thing, so I don't know, like, if that's good or not. Here's Vesuvius, um... Oh, wow! Okay, I thought I just knocked it out. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay. Dusk Ball time for this here Mewtwo. One. Mewtwo used Psychic. I don't think it took me a lot to catch this Mewtwo. Two. Three. Oh, shoot, it was so close too. Four. No. All right, Mewtwo, you know what they say, fifth time's the charm, right? Oh, wow, I didn't actually realize that that's when I caught it, the fifth time, that's nice. All right, so five dust balls to catch Mewtwo, that is not bad at all. All right, so in the documentation for this game, it says to come back to where you found Mewtwo because there'll be a surprise for you. So I was expecting like, oh, like a master ball or some rare item, but no, it's stupid. So I was like, oh, okay, I get to battle stupid again. And I'm expecting Stupid to have, like, you know, his same team, right? You know, with freaking, you know, just maybe, like, leveled up a little bit, his same team. Yeah. I was wrong. Um, stupid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, restore the HP of my Pokemon really quick. Um, stupid always starts off with his, his, uh, his Honchkrow. So that's what I am going to start off with. No, I'm not going to start off with my Honchkrow because I don't have one. I'm going to start off with Spike. Apparently Stupid has become a Pokemon because he's like making Pokemon sounds. And he sends in a level 100 Lugia. I was like, oh my god. Lugia uses Reflect. I use Thunder and it misses. Lugia uses Toxic. I'm badly poisoned. I use Thunder and it misses and I'm hurt by the poison. She uses Aeroblast. He uses Aeroblast. It uses Aeroblast. I don't know what it is. Thunder finally hits. Okay, that did do crap. Um. Lugia is holding the life orb. Because every time Lugia attacks, its HP goes down. So... This is tough. Um, by the way, like, remember the beginning of the video when I said something caught me off guard at the end? This was what it was. I was not expecting this at all. For him to have, like, all this. So anyway, I, um, I healed Spike, and I had him come back in and use Thunderbolt, and that is enough to take out the Lugia. So Spike gains all kinds of experience for battling that Lugia as he should. Don't, don't wrap yourself around that cord. My cat's still here, and he, yeah, he's like wrapping himself around my microphone cord. He doesn't need to be doing that. All right, so now Stupid is gonna send out Ho Oh. It's the Ho Oh. Hopefully that Brave Bird won't knock out Mick, but it probably will. Yep, it sure did. Ho Oh is hit with Recoil, and it did a little bit more damage. That's not good. Alright, Spike, let's see if you can outspeed this ho-oh. -oh. Ooh, Thunderbolt, would you look at that? Would you just look at it? Oh! Oh. Oh, I'm still holding the Shikaberry, but that didn't that didn't do anything, because my HP was still, like, at half. Alright, um... Shoot, let's see. Um... 
I don't think... Yeah, Jericho doesn't have strength anymore. So I'll send in Vesuvius to use Fly. And hopefully Vesuvius can knock it out with that. Oh, come on, Ho. Just knock yourself out. Just knock yourself out. Yes. Normally I'd be sad that they both got knocked out, but... The fact that it's a level 100 Ho, like, whatever means that it takes for me to get it knocked out, I will, like, do it. Anyway, his last Pokemon is a level 100 Mewtwo, which makes no sense, because I just caught the one that was here, and apparently... I always thought there was only one Mewtwo. Like, I never thought that there was more than one Mewtwo. Um, Robotnik's Meteor Mash didn't hit, which is kind of unlucky for me. Um, Mewtwo's going to use Aura Sphere. And that knocks out Robotnik. Sucks. Alright, Jericho. Oh, Ice Beam. Got you, Barry. Weakened Ice Beam's power, but it's still super effective. Come on, stop, stop, stop. No. Okay. I need to use this opportunity to heal Robotnik or Spike or someone. You two use his Ice Beam. But if you're noticing, Every time Mewtwo attacks, its HP goes down, which means it's holding the um, the life orb. So Mewtwo's gonna use Aura Sphere on me, and that does all that damage. And Meteor Mash misses again, which sucks. Now I've got to take different other measures. Alright, so another Aura Sphere is it for Robotnik. I wonder if Spike... No, he can't outspeed Mewtwo. What am I talking about? I was going to say, I wonder if Spike can outspeed Mewtwo. No, of course he can't. I don't think he can take that Psychic either. No, that would have been nice if he could, though. Alright, Vesuvius. Um, let's, let's get my Pokemon. Let's get Robotnik healed back up. Robotnik is going to be the key. Because Robotnik is the only Pokemon I have that can take an attack from this Mewtwo. Um, Andromeda, I need to get Robotnik. Well, I need to get Robotnik healed back up, like to like the full, like as as, as full as I can get him. All right, Robotnik, you almost got him. BT uses Aura Sphere. Please don't use a Hyper Potion. Oh, finally, Meteor Mash hits. God, that was ridiculous. I defeated Stupid, because he's stupid. And who is calling me? Mother. Mother, do you know what I just went through and you're talking about shopping? <sighs> Normally I'd use it. Whoops. Normally I'd use an escape rope, but it, the way out of here is so easy. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go out the real way. Okay, guys. Well, the next video will be the last video of this LP, unless I just remember something after that. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.